Hi folks, just a uh, quick and dirty response to a NOVA program called The Fabric of the Universe. A couple of poems uh, I wrote before I actually saw this show. <laughs> anyway, I'm not trying to be fancy. This is just, I'm just going to read them. This one's called Einstein Says. Einstein said that the past and present and the future exist like rooms in a house. When we leave the living room and go into the kitchen, the living room is still there. The past is still there. The future is still there. Only we move. How is it that we move through time? Why time seems to flow from past to future? He doesn't say. It remains a mystery. Once I lived in a big house with two women who loved me. The house was brand new and full of light. The bathtubs were huge. I rarely bathed alone. Every six days I slept alone, but by then I needed to. We ate steak often. We drank good wine. We laughed and played naughty games. I never felt so loved, so complete, so safe, before or since. Now, when it has rained for a week, now when I am lonely, now when the terror of failure has me by the throat, I remember the time I have so foolishly wandered away from, and take comfort that in some mysterious way I am still there, will always be there, will always be there with the women basking in the warm glow of their love. My second poem on this topic is reading the paper. The need for God is strong. Some big daddy or big mama in the sky, always there to dry your eye and blow your nose and tell you that everything is all right. The need never dies, but the faith that the need will be filled fades with time, knowledge, and repeated disappointment. Everything is not all right, and nobody will make it right if you can't or won't. Each year the story seems more far-fetched, more unbelievable. Each year the idea of God just gets more and after a while. Somehow you learn to blow your own nose. Then, one day, you read in the paper that the universe is getting bigger and bigger, the galaxies and stars getting further and further apart, till the day comes that the night sky is dark, the average temperature is absolute zero, and the entire universe just stops becoming. All the love, all the care, all the worry, the struggle, the big ideas, the suffering, all come to nothing. Well, fine. A beautiful, meaningless end to this ultimately pointless mess. Okay, good night. Thank you. Bye.